Are you stuck at home? Are you social distancing? Are you self quarantining? Quarantine? Quarantine? Are you self quarantining? Me too. Are you uh, trying to use up all the stuff that's been in your cabinet forever that you just you bought and you were planning on doing something with that you never had time to or you just forgot about? Welcome to my stockpile. <sighs> Me too. This is Cook the Quarantine. And in this video, we are going to be using ramen. The first thing I'm gonna make with the ramen, um, I've seen this video, like not this video, I've seen this idea in several different videos. I can't actually find the origin of it. Um, if I do, I will, I'll link it or I'll put it on the screen somewhere right about here. But we're gonna take this ramen here and we are going to add peanut butter to it and some sriracha and top it with a little bit of green onion there and make spicy peanut noodles. Now this says that it is the soy sauce flavor or the, and these call it oriental flavor, depending on what brand you have. Uh, it says it's vegetarian. I don't know why it's not vegan. I'm guessing it has something to do with the sauce packet. So we're gonna put the whole block in and I'm not gonna add the sauce packet until after it's done. Um, yeah, so this one is gonna have two packs of ramen in it. I'm gonna use half of it for ramen grilled cheese. And the other half of it for our last dish. In researching what, I, what all I could do with ramen, uh, I came across a couple different videos one video was reviewing a ramen cookbook and the recipe they did was ramen spaghetti tacos. I have made spaghetti tacos before. My children love spaghetti tacos. They originally saw it on iCarly. We're gonna make spaghetti tacos! I don't know, we'll see what it's like with ramen. Uh, basically you just cook some ramen and you add spaghetti sauce to it and you add cheese and a uh, diced tomato, which I don't have a tomato right now, so I'm not gonna add that. Um, and then you put it inside of a hard shell taco. The soy sauce ramen here is done. So we're just going to uh, put it here in the bowl. I'm only gonna add half the sauce packet, seasoning packet, because I don't know. And then just add a big old, big old spoonful of peanut butter. And yeah, big ol' is a actual measurement. It is about that much, according to the videos I have seen. Um, and then I'm gonna add some sriracha. And I'm gonna taste it after I mix it. And if it needs to be more spicy than, uh, or spicier, I will add more sriracha to it. A lot of peanut flavor. Not bad. I like taste those peanut butter, so yeah, got the rest of that. Touch more of that. Add a little bit of that. It smells good. It's not pretty, but it smells good. Alright. Let's see what the final taste is. That's pretty good. Might have to start putting peanut butter in my ramen more often. Okay, uh, I'm gonna finish that and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these other two packets. This ramen is done. It's still warm, um, but what we're gonna do, we'll divide it into two amounts here. Uh, this is gonna be our grilled cheese and that is gonna be our ramen tacos. Buzzfeed video showed one egg in a pack of ramen, I think. I'm gonna put two eggs in it. Cause that's, uh, it's a little bit more than a pack of ramen. You do wanna make sure that your noodles are a little bit cool so your egg doesn't scramble because that's not what the point of it is. The point of it in this is to keep your noodles together so you can fry it like a piece of bread. 
I've got uh, four pieces of foil here, and hopefully that'll be this will be enough to give me. Uh, I want to make four pieces of air quotes bread. Fold it in a square. And we're going to put it in the fridge to cool. And while those cool, we're going to make our other one. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of those, put them in the fridge, and then we're going to make our spaghetti tacos. For your ramen spaghetti tacos, you want to take your already cooked ramen, the remainder of what you have, add your marinara sauce to it, and heat it up over like medium heat and continue to stir. That way you don't burn anything and it doesn't stick to your pan. I think you can microwave these, right? Microwave. Yeah, I'm going to cook it on high for 45 seconds. Okay, so that's there. I'm gonna just top it off with some mozzarella cheese. All right, wish me luck. It's very hot. Mmm, mm mm. It tastes like canned spaghetti on top of a corn tortilla shell. But you know, hey man, it's all you got. It's actually edible. Wouldn't I think that maybe that may be it. Our egg and noodles have cooled, chilled, they're frosty, chilly. Set up, whatever. Let's see how this goes. Not bad, not bad. I don't know when it's ready to flip. Uh, I guess maybe I'll wait and see if like egg around here starts to... The Dude, the BuzzFeed video was just like, here, fry this. It was like... I mean, I'll link it, you'll see. It's very fast, very fast editing. Uh, we don't put a screw in this up today. You know what? It's ramen and egg. I don't care if I screw it up. Oh. Hey, it's not ready yet. Okay, well this looks a little bit more done here, right? Oh, that looks, yeah, that looks, that looks better. Firming up a little bit, so. One, two, three. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let this finish. Let's let this finish, and then we'll we'll do the we'll do the next one. So uh, initially, I think it was about five minutes for the first side, and then the second side, I cooked for I cooked it for about two three minutes. Um, I don't want it to. I want to make sure that it was solid in the middle. Uh, heated through, cooked through. Eggs done. Put my cheese right there. Take my other ramen. A uh, patty, piece of bread, whatever, whatever. Flip it over. And I'm just gonna cook it and wait for the uh, the cheese to melt there. Let's take this bad boy out. It's uh, kind of flimsy, but what do you expect? I'm gonna cut it here. Like you can see the noodle texture. It smells pretty good. I'm gonna let it cool off just a second before I try it. It's pretty hot. Let's try this. It looks more promising than the tacos. Okay, let's 
Let's see. Let's see what it is. That's super weird. I don't know if I like that or not. That's um. That's pretty soft. It's uh. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know what else to say, but it's weird. It's not good and it's not bad. It's just. I think it's one of those drunk foods. I think it's definitely a drunk food. If you are at home in self-isolation with a very large bottle of alcohol, this would be something that you would eat. I am just entirely too sober to eat this. I think that's what the problem is. That's all I got to say about it. If you guys like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. Um, click that little bell. That way, you know, every time I upload a new batch of randomness, um, and you can see me slowly devolve into madness, uh, through my videos. It might be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, if you try any of them, good luck. You might like it. It's just a texture thing for me. It's just a sober thing for me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay safe, stay home, and uh, see you next time.